that many of you will be starting a new school in September, so let's create a transition video where you look back at where you've been and look forward at where you're going using Adobe Express. Very simple to get going. I'm going to press the plus on the left hand side. I'm going to go to video. I'll give it a title, uh, transition. And then I can choose a template if I want, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to start from scratch. So I've got a little kind of piece of work that I've done here, six questions, and I'm going to use it to create my video. So here, once it's loaded up, you've got your slides down the bottom. Think of these as your scenes. And for my first one, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to put some text in the middle. You can see I've got a full screen layout selected over there. I'll press the text again, just put my name in, and then I'm looking for a photo to go behind. Now, uh, I'm talking in this section when I'm introducing myself about, uh, you know, I really love riding my bike, for example. So I stick bike in there, and I could use one of these free stock photos. That one looks pretty cool. You can also just click that, and then you can press photo again. And rather than, you know, choosing one of the free images, you can also press the three dots there and go to take photo. Easy as that. So I'm going to press confirm now. It's going to go in there and you have some control over these photos as well. Press the little pencil edit button and you can zoom in and you can move it around. And you can also move the text around, which is really cool as well. So let me grab that, stick it over there. You can also change the theme. So I'm going to choose the mega theme. I like green, it's my favorite color, so I'll use that for now. But you can also change it to orange and it will change things uh, in other slides. But I'll keep it a green for now. Now I'm going to record my voiceover. Now this is really important. That's why I've got my lines here so I can read them. You might want to, you know, maybe have them in your book or on another screen or working partners so you can help each other. I'm going to press and hold and then say what I need to say. So you just press, hold, say what you need to say and then let it go when you're done. You can preview by pressing the little play button here. And you can hear some music in the background. Very easy to change your music. There's lots of free music in here. You can change the level of the volume. You can turn it off and on. Okay, so now that we've done that first slide, click on the plus there. It gives me another slide that I can work with or another scene. And this time, instead of going for a full screen layout, I'll go for a split screen. And I'll put my text or my question on that side. And on the right hand side, like I did before, could choose a photo, but I'm actually gonna choose an icon here because one of the things that I really remember from being in school was the first time we used a computer. That's how old I am. And now I'm gonna record my voiceover. Now you can see my voiceover was 12 seconds long there. If I want to remove it, I can just press this on the right hand side or I can just press and hold and record again. Gonna go on to the third slide now. I think I'll do title and text. Uh, this will be in my title, what are you most proud of? Maybe I'll bring down the size ever so slightly so it's all on one line. And then also I'm going to get this section of text here because this is one of the things I like to do. I like to highlight things. Now, here's something that's pretty cool to do. You can also put video in here as well. So let me go here to video, open for that one. And what it does here is it says, how much of this video do you actually want to use? And you can stretch it out so you can use all of it if you want. And also you can, if you've got, you know, I only want it to be five seconds long, you make it five seconds and then you have this little grabber kind of handle in the middle here where you can move the start and the end to the position that you want. And next I'm gonna record my voiceover. Now that we've done that, I'm gonna go back into my edit, go to the little editing tool here. You can see you can zoom in and you can also mute the clip. I might do that to make sure that they can see here the voiceover and my music as well. But let me go back into my edit and you see this little button here, align to narration. What it's gonna do is it's gonna match the length of the video to the length of my voiceover. So if I, so if I just click it, you can see now everything in purple matches my exact voiceover length and I can choose where I want this to start from and where I want it to end. Once you're happy, just click save. Now caption is really nice because it, it makes your text, uh, it gives it a kind of a shape behind your text and I want to put this kind of section in text here because it's a really strong memory of mine and I thought it was quite funny, even though it was really embarrassing. So I'll put that onto two lines and then also I'll find a photo. That's a good photo because I remember doing the hurdles at the athletics competition and then I can record my voiceover. So sometimes you can put the text in and do your voiceover as well. When you think you're finished, you can go over to the play button in the bottom left. You can preview your whole video from start to finish. And if you're happy with it, you can download it if you like. Uh, but I'm going to press share, publish. It's got a title already and create a link. 
Using video takes longer to render things like the images and the text and the voiceover and the uh, video files that you put in there yourself. So leave a little bit of time for this. But once it's done, it'll create a link which looks a little bit like this. And you can also share it to Google Classrooms on Microsoft Teams. Okay, good luck with yours.